Hey guys, I thought I'd bring you an update. I know it's kind of quick on a what's in my bag video because I just did one on what's in my Louis, my Louis Vuitton. But um, I'm going to switch purses, so I thought I would do another one. And I was using this huge bag that I bought at the thrift store last week, I think, and I showed it to you in my thrift haul. And I absolutely love this bag. It's huge. It's slouchy. It's big 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 did I say big it's huge I love it and I think it's real leather it smells like it it feels like it it doesn't have any brand on it it doesn't say whether it's leather on the inside it just says made in China and look how huge it is it's just huge I, I mean I love it it's like almost in a half moon shape or something it's got fabulous hardware um, decorative hardware all over it. It's got a big zipper in the front with like a hidden pocket. It's got harnesses on the side. It's got like these barbell studs on it. A detachable strap. The handles are braided. And I just noticed how fabulous the stitching is as well. It's got some really nice decorative top stitching here. Really like that. And I added some cute little charms that I bought at Michael's a couple of weeks ago. I bought these Kush Ball charms, or key rings. Uh, I had bought them for my kids at the clinic for fidget toys because um, they need something to do with their hands. They tend to fidget and it's not fun to watch what else they can do with those hands. So, um, anyway, these have like air in them, and you can squeeze them, and you can pull on them, and I find them totally therapeutic. I'm waiting in line, I can just play with them, and I really like them. And I showed one to my husband, or he was looking at it, and he over-squeezed it. Took the air right out of it. He must be extremely stressed, I don't know. Anyway, but uh, I did hang them all over my purse, and I like the way they look. Kind of cute, and then this one I added a few more charms to it. Uh, it's got a cross. These are pendants that I don't use as pendants, and they're really pretty. I should use them. It's a big cross with a Bible verse and a page from a good book here, and some chili peppers, and uh, another religious medal on there. So that's what I put on in there. Oops, what fell down? Oh, those are my glasses. So let's get to what's in it. Alright, so I have this big cosmetic bag. I don't know if I had the same bag last time. Maybe not, but it's got a really nice big gold zipper. Lots of makeup in there. Gucci moisturizer, cover girl, mascara, some Chanel lipsticks. I'm wearing one today that I know takes you and I back to the 70s. You probably weren't there, but I was. And I wore this color and I'm wearing it again today. And this one's called, well, probably not the same Chanel brand, but uh, this one's called um, Rouge Noir. And it's really dark and pretty. I don't know. Once in a while, I just go crazy with the fun colors. This is really cute. Look at the way it opens. Oh, snap. Love it. Beautiful, beautiful piece of art by Chanel. Okay. Uh, the typical makeup stuff, and I don't carry everything with me. I carry an eyeshadow just in case I have to put some on, you know. I am ready to put on the whole thing. Lip gloss, eyeshadow, mascara, tweezers, everything is in here. But I normally just make up my face in the morning and then just uh, maybe touch it with lipstick. Okay, I have a package of Kleenex. I have some sweet tarts that I have opened, and they are delicious, chewy sweet tarts. I have a coupon that uh, is for an Italian restaurant, and it's a free entree, and it expires, I believe, tomorrow. And see, this is what happens, and this is why I need to do what one of the YouTubers does, and she carries a pouch just for coupons. And that's what I'm going to start doing, because otherwise they just get lost in there, and then they never get used. Or I throw them out because I get tired of them roaming, roaming around in my purse. And this is another coupon, roaming around. Oh, this is a little instructions on a Chanel eyeshadow I got. Well, I don't need instructions, but some kind of thing. 
Uh, wet ones. Love these. I'm very phobic when it comes to using public computers and that kind of thing. I have a really nice leather bag by this brand that I still don't know how to pronounce. I always say Etni Anger. And I know it's not, I think it's Anye. Maybe it's Anye. It's probably French. Yeah, that's probably it. Okay, and then it's got a zipper and I got all my utility things in there. I've got some Gucci moisturizer. This smells fabulous. I love it. Gucci. Yes. Okay. Um, a Sharpie. Some sharp scissors and ponytail holders that I don't know why I have because I don't even use them yet. I don't even have hair long enough for that. A lighter. I no longer smoke, but I always carry a lighter. I like to light up my candles and uh, just whatever. Uh, flash drive. That kind of stuff is in there. I have my Donna Sharp wallet that I showed you last week and I bought this at the thrift store. It's quilted. This was, I don't really, didn't know anything about Donna Sharp, but apparently she makes quilts. It has a website, and I love her work. It's just so cute. It's kind of, you know, like Vera Bradley, but you know what? Vera Bradley was not the first, and she won't be the last to do quilted handbags. This bag I really like because it fits in my hand. It's slender and long. It, I can just grasp it like that. I love it. And it's got the card slots at the top of the flap here. It's got card slots in here. It's got another zipper in here. It's got a zipper in the back, which I love. I like my coin purses to have the zippers in, in the back. I don't want to have to open the wallet to get that one penny out. So, Okay, then I got... This was a buy from eBay that I bought. It was... A, I think I got it for like $5, which is pretty cheap for Vera Bradley. But I forgot that my iPhone would not fit with the case that I put it in. So it didn't fit my iPhone. It didn't fit my daughter's phone that she had. So I wound up, it was in the closet for a while until it dawned on me the other day that I could use it for all my cards. So I put all the cards that I don't use every day, my loyalty cards, my gift cards, business cards. Um, and of course it has the clear part up here where I could put my license, but I keep my license in another similar similar thing but it's got uh, my keys attached to it and it's got a coin purse and then a little ID window so anyway and then it's, you can attach it as well so I really like that because I can just find it really quickly if I need to I got the um, Levenger pen holder with two cheap pens inside I used to have nice pens I don't know what happened to them I've got the rosary in that leather pouch that I showed you in my What's in My Louis. This is a beautiful crystal rosary, and I told you the story about that. And uh, it never leaves my my purses. It goes from one purse to the other. And let me see what else is in here. Oh, I've got this fabulous Maggie B that I showed you the other day uh, that I bought at the thrift store. It's for two pairs of sunglasses. I've got my prescription glasses. See here they are right in here because um, I always lose those if I put them in there now and then I've got my vintage sunglasses in there as well I really like this pouch I wish I could find another one and give one to my mom and my my sister they're just too cute uh, I wound up keeping this brush I had bought it for my daughter at Walgreens for a dollar I kept it, it's really cute uh, lots of pain pills I've got my daily aspirin that I take just because somebody said I should uh, I've got ibuprofen I've got um, more pain pills in here somewhere. Yes, the Advil. And then I bought me some earplugs because, as I said before, I uh, work with children with autism and they sometimes really scream a lot. And um, I used to be able to, I still can pretty much zone it out and it doesn't bother me. But occasionally, I'll be next to a kid, and he doesn't even have to be that close, but there's just something about that pitch, and it'll go zoom right to my brain. Uh, so I'm going to start wearing earplugs. I think it'll help. Okay, then I've got another, uh, this is not, a, this is an adapter for the internet, and I had to replace this today, so that's why it's in my purse. I can go show the guy at the Radio Shack what I needed. And he gave me, sold me another one, and uh, three packs of gum. Because I asked my husband to bring me to bring me some gum from the convenience store when he stopped for gas, and this is how he operates: three packs of gum. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, old receipt, 
uh, napkins from a restaurant. I always grab a few extra if I if they're at the table. You never know when you need a napkin, so I always carry napkins in my purses. And that appears to be everything in this bag. So I'm gonna make another video. This bag will appear there again because it's really nice, and I'm gonna make a video entitled I Love Big Bags. And I will bring out a few of my favorite bags, including the one that I'm going to start using uh, because I think it's really summery and fun, and it's gold, and it's DKNY mesh, kind of see-through, and I just think it's fun, and I want to switch up. So anyway, thanks for joining me tonight. It was a lot of fun for me. I hope it was for you. Bye-bye.